At its heart, the World Cup is a serious affair, as some of the globe's most talented and competitive athletes duke it out for the title of the world's best on the biggest platform. But that doesn't mean that the World Cup is without joy and utter silliness at points too. Some of the most memorable moments throughout the tournament's history have come as a result of not so much what significant things the athletes do on the ball, but off of it. Let's count down the top 10 funniest World Cup moments of all time. Number 10. The Kuwaiti Rebellion It was Kuwait's first World Cup in 1982, and after managing a draw against Czechoslovakia, entered into their game against France with reasonable expectations. Those quickly went down the toilet though when France took a 3-1 lead and had an additional two legitimate goals wrongly disallowed. Late in the game, as France attacked again, the Kuwaiti team heard a whistle from the crowd and stopped playing, but France didn't. After they scored, the Kuwaiti team was instructed to leave the pitch by the president of the Kuwaiti FA, Sheikh Fahid Al Ahmad Al Sabah, if the referee didn't overturn the goal. Unbelievably, he did, but France scored another one anyway, and Kuwait lost their final group game to be eliminated. Number 9. Rob Green's Goalkeeping You can say this for the English, they may have outsized expectations for their contributions at each cup, but they're always good comedy. England were playing the USA in South Africa in 2010 in their first group stage game, a match that would set the tone for their entire tournament. Failing to control a long-range strike from Clint Dempsey, England's goalie Rob Green spilled the ball and watched helplessly as it trickled over the line to gift the USA an equaliser. England thusly finished the game 1-1. They beat Slovenia but failed to score against Algeria, meaning they finished level on points with the USA and were drawn against Germany for the round of 16 aka a death sentence. Number 8. Marcelo's Own Goal Opener Brazil 2014 was a weird tournament for many reasons, not least because of the way the host nation's quest for the cup ended against Germany. But it began in a foreboding fashion, as after all the pomp and circumstance in the opening of the competition in 2014, the World Cup effectively coming home to the country that's claimed it the most, Brazil had to play Croatia in their opening match. The first goal of the entire tournament came in the 11th minute, and it was scored in Brazil's net by a Brazilian player. Marcelo, one of the world's greatest defenders, turned in the ball to start what was a tragic tournament for the Samba boys, and while they rescued that particular scoreline, it ultimately only went downhill from there. Number 7. All the insects in Brazil Everyone loves a good pitch invasion from a very confused animal. There's something blissfully innocent and funny about an animal completely oblivious to all the spectacle going on, delaying these men worth millions of dollars from kicking the ball they're supposed to. At Euro 2016, it was a swarm of moths that stole the headlines, but at Brazil's World Cup in 2014, it was an enormous cricket that landed on breakout star James Rodriguez's arm after he took a penalty for Colombia against Brazil. The thing was massive and perched on his right bicep as he cluelessly flexed for the crowd after scoring. It wasn't quite as horrifying as Zuniga's backbreaking challenge on Neymar earlier in the game, but well, it wasn't far off. Number 6. Zaire's Free Kick Defending Following a frankly flattering 9-0 scoreline against Yugoslavia in their second game of the 1974 World Cup, Zaire, the first nation from sub-Saharan Africa to compete in the international competition, were told that if they lost by four or more goals to Brazil in the final group stage game, the players would not be allowed to return home. 3-0 down at 79 minutes, Zaire cut it pretty close, but thanks to a brilliant bit of time wasting from one of their players, Mwepu Ilunga, they were spared. Facing a direct free kick, Ilunga sprinted from the wall and hoofed the stationary ball upfield. He was pilloried for not knowing the rules, but potentially saving his team's lives as he did, we can now laugh at what was a terrific time-wasting tactic. Number 5. Graham Pohl's Three Yellow Card Trick Despite having a historically talented roster at the 2006 World Cup, England's players failed to make a mark on the tournament, but an English referee had a career-defining moment. Graham Pohl was officiating Australia's final group stage game against Croatia and showed Croatian defender Josep Simonic a yellow card first in the 61st minute, then again in the 90th minute, and then a third one finally to send him off. In Pohl's defence, Simonic was raised in Australia and had an accent, and none of his assistant referees helped him out, but his three card blunder is one of the biggest in World Cup history. Number 4. Luis Suarez's snack. Luis Suarez had already garnered a reputation for himself as a biter ahead of the 2014 World Cup, having been suspended seven games for nibbling on an opponent while at Ajax, and ten games for doing the same at Liverpool. 
that the world was now watching him in greater numbers than ever before, and that he was trying to repair his public image should have probably deterred him from trying it again, but when Uruguay faced Italy in their final group game, he sunk his teeth into Giorgio Chiellini's shoulder. He was banned for four months and still signed for Barcelona, but the funniest part was his pathetic explanation of events to FIFA's disciplinary panel. Quote, I lost my balance, making my body unstable and falling on top of my opponent. At that moment, I hit my face against the player, leaving a small bruise on my cheek and a strong pain in my teeth. Number three, Rivaldo's atrocious acting. The 2002 tournament in South Korea and Japan was all about Brazil, as the team's star trio of Ronaldo, Ronaldinho and Rivaldo tore it up on the international stage. While it'll be remembered as a high point of football for years to come, there was one remarkably low moment from Brazil's attacking midfielder, Ballon d'Or winner and one-time FIFA World Player of the Year, Rivaldo. Brazil were playing Turkey in their opening match, and standing by the corner flag waiting to receive the ball for a corner kick near the end of the game, Rivaldo had it passed to him a little too hard by a Turkish player. It hit his hand, but he dove backwards clutching his face maybe three feet from the linesman. The Turkish player was unbelievably and laughably given a red card. Number two, Diana Ross's penalty. Despite not really caring about the sport they called soccer as a nation at large at the time, the USA hosted the 1994 World Cup and rolled out the big guns for the opening ceremony in the form of one of the Supremes herself, Diana Ross. At the Soldier Field in Chicago, as a representative of the entire nation, Ross ran through a parted sea of backup dancers towards goal while singing, I'm coming out, a position we've all been in no doubt, stopped at the edge of the penalty area, stuttered in her run-up, and went for neither power nor placement as she skewed the ball wide of the post. The best part was the goal still split in two for her to run through, but it had a tragic tint. Number one. Gary Lineker's poo. For almost two decades, Gary Lineker was English football's golden child, and since retiring he's gone on to have arguably the most successful broadcasting career of any ex-pro. All this to say, it makes it a bit easier to laugh at the time he pooped his pants on the pitch at Italia 90. He's still given pelters for his terrible tummy on Twitter to this day, almost 30 years later if you can believe it, but nothing stains a reputation or a pair of shorts better than feces. His four goals in the tournament after his opening game tragedy helped him deflect some of the misfortune, but it's hard to remember his tournament without mentioning it. A player pooing on the pitch still goes down as the funniest thing to ever happen at a World Cup. Let's hope Harry Kane can keep his bowels in check in Russia, because if he can't handle a little joke from the FA's Twitter account, I'm not sure he could live with constant poo jokes. Make your predictions for what hilarious thing you think will happen at this year's World Cup, and let us know what other videos you want to see on the channel. Give this one a like if you've enjoyed it, and subscribe so you don't miss any more. Thanks so much for watching, I'm Lloyd Mallison, and I'll see you soon.